Welcome back to a brand new episode of Master in Programming. In today's episode, we'll be creating the following app, which allows you to enter your name, such as David. And then when you click save name, you can actually close the app, open the app again. And as you can see, it saves the information on the app. So basically, we're going to be showing you how you can save information on your app so that once you close the app, the information will still be there. And as you can see, I can save numbers, save name, close the app, completely close the app and open it again. And it will have the last number or the last string that I have inserted. It will be a very easy tutorial, but it will benefit you a lot when it comes to creating your app. Without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back guys. Now, as you can see on the right side here, I have uh, the phone just so we can see the UI and work on it straight away. And that's actually what we're going to be working on uh, from the beginning. So I'm going to be removing this and instead I'll be adding a VStack to start with. Inside of here, I'm going to be adding a text. And for now, let's just leave this as empty. I'll be adding a spacer. And then I will start working on the enter your name, text field, and then button. So I'll very easily start doing that by first adding some text. And I'll say, enter your name. After that, I'll add a text field. So very easily, we will simply say text field. And inside of here, we actually have multiple options that we can do. For now, we can just add placeholder, something like enter your name and after that we're going to be binding that text so let's first of all create it so i'll go over at the top and i'll say at state var username and it will be empty string and i'll come over here and i'll say username just like this okay so we forgot to do one thing and that we just forgot to add the word text just like that and as you can see we no longer have any errors Great, so after that, what we need to do is just create our button. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'll simply type in button. Over here, I'll type in action. Open and close a bracket and open and close a bracket. Inside of here, I'll simply say text. And then I'll say submit. Save. And inside of here, we're going to be calling a function that we still didn't create. So let's go ahead and start by creating it. We're going to scroll all the way over here. And inside of here, I'll say func, and I'll say save data. And we're going to create a second function, and this one will say get data or data. <laughs> All right, so this function will obviously be responsible for saving the data, for saving the name or whatever the user enters inside of their uh, text field. And to do that, all we need to do is simply say user defaults dot standard dot set open a bracket and over here we're going to say self dot and we are going to be passing the username now i accidentally added the binding sign so remove that and then what we need to do is we're going to say tap or sorry for key and here we're going to give it the name that we're going to recognize it by for example here i will say user name now however remember that when you come to extract this piece of data or this piece of information you need to refer to the exact same four key that you just passed over here in our case it's username now that we know how to save the data let's actually extract the data as well so we're going to go to a function that says get data and over here all i'm going to be doing is user defaults dot standard dot string now pay attention for something if you're actually saving an integer then you're going to be saying dot integer and not string. But in our case, we're passing a string, so we're going to say string. For key, and this is when you need to pass the exact name that you passed over here. That's basically the name of the folder for it. We're going to copy username and we're going to paste it over here. But what are we doing with it? We're not actually doing anything. Well, let's go ahead and go over here and we're going to say at state var uh, saved name. Just like this. And we're going to go over here and we're going to say save name is equal to user defaults dot standard dot string for key username. Now it is telling us here that we might encounter some problems. For example, what will happen if nothing is actually saved? To solve this problem, all we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding two question marks. And then all we need to do is actually just pass an empty string instead. Something else I want to do is that I also want to say welcome just like that 
sorry. And then pass the name or whatever save part of that string. And now our, for our final thing, we need to just display this save name or whatever the person has saved inside of the text. So we're going to copy save name. We're going to go over here and we're going to type in saved name. Let's run this app and see if it works exactly as we expected or not. Okay, so now as you can see, I ran the app and as you can see, we do have some issues with the UI. To fix this, all we need to do is simply come over here and add another spacer just at the bottom to make things at the center. And we also need to start calling our functions that we created. So we're going to copy the first function, which allows us to save the information. And we're going to go over here and click on save. And we're also going to save or sorry, we're going to call this other function which allows us to actually extract the data. And to do that, we want to pretty much call it as soon as the view loads. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to type in on appear and I'm going to type perform, open and close the bracket. And then as soon as the view appears, we pretty much want to perform the get data. So we want to straight away start extracting our data. Let's go ahead and again, delete or remove the app. Okay, as you can see, we do have the app running here exactly how we want it. And right now I'm going to enter something to save. So I'll say something like David, I'll submit and save. We are going to close our app and then we are going to open it again. And as you can see, it says, welcome David at the top. So we remembered exactly what I entered in the app. Let's try something else like mastering programming and I'll just type mastering programming and I'll click submit and save. Let's go ahead and close the app and open it one more time. And as you can see, Again, it saves that information forever. So we're always going to be able to, so we're always going to be able to set, close the app and have the information saved. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. I hope you're going to use this information inside of your apps and see you next time.